Hello, I'm Atuba George and I'm so excited to be bringing God's words to you today. Now, are you ready? Now, testimonies have been coming in. I have, I've heard some wonderful testimonies this month. I'm telling you the truth. Mind-blowing testimonies, praise God. So are we ready to call in your daily bread? Can we go together and say after me, say, Father, I receive today my daily bread it is coming to me now in jesus name amen praise god expect a miracle today ah, i'll tell you something when, when we go into the broadcast for today father we give you praise thank you for a new week holy spirit you have gone ahead of us this week and you will make every crooked path straight and we're going to walk on straight paths lord it is by your goodness that you bring us into your truth and we are deeply grateful thank you lord i declare today burdens have been lifted yokes have been destroyed by the power of your spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ a Man, praise God. Now listen, we've been talking about Jesus being a high priest and it's after the order of Melchizedek. And I was sharing with you last week that God has a system that he has put in place to see to it. You know, that's what he told us this month. says, this month, he is manifesting himself as Jehovah Jireh. And that's the God who sees to it. When you read the message translation, it says, the God who sees. God will see to it. See to what? See to the truth that his word is fulfilled in your life. Now, I remember I was sharing on Friday during the lunch hour prayer meeting, if you had followed I shared this truth with you that there are two revelations that the church of Jesus Christ needs to come to terms with or needs to understand. And then when those two things are accomplished, then the end will come. Now that is what the whole of heaven is waiting for. And what are those two things? Number one is what we have been dealing with. And what is that? That God can meet our needs. Now, Every Christian believes God will meet their needs somehow. But what I'm talking about is getting to that place of full and complete reliance where you, you've, you've gotten to that place of assurance that, see, if it is this matter, God is taking care of it. I know it. You come to that place of rest. Now, that's what God has called us into. Uh, when you relate with a lot of believers, you will understand one thing, that they don't really understand the gospel message. They don't. So you find people arguing over certain things. You know, you find people, by the way, the, the, the first thing we need to come to terms with, the first revelation we need to accept, that's only totally two, is that God will meet our needs. The second one is that the immortality the grace or the power of immortality that God has given to us. What do I mean by that? We will come to that place of understanding that death is an enemy of God. We don't need to die before we go to heaven. We will come to the knowledge of that truth. Now, the first one is already gaining entrance. Now, of course, what we'll talk about comes to the knowledge of the truth. It's not everybody that must believe it. But you see, 
most of the world today have come to accept now not not because they all believe but accept what we teach or preach that jesus died see and then he died for us most of the world have come to believe even though not everyone in the world have believed it but you know what god said as a prophet he said as i live every knee will bow to me and every tongue will confess now what's god saying everybody will come to the realization that this his word is true it's true so most believers are coming to the place of understanding or hope i use the word hope most are coming to the place of hope that god will meet their needs now many believers believe that god can do miracles or god should do miracles but when it comes to a personal will god do this kind of miracle for you you know a, a preacher raised an issue about miracle money and everywhere went ballistic what is that no how can you say how can you say now now understand something what we call a miracle over here in heaven is a normal process we call it a miracle here because we don't have perfect understanding of its operation but you see every miracle that god does over here when you study it and spend time with the spirit of god you will understand the operation of that miracle. See, now I spent time teaching you last week uh, how Jesus is the high priest and he administers as the high priest after the order of Melchizedek. There is an aspect of his priesthood that administers to our needs. Now that is an operation of heaven. In that operation, angels are involved. The most important thing, which is the voice of God, is involved. The Holy Spirit is involved. Jesus himself is involved. See? So it's a whole operation. The problem with most believers is this. And that I found out, you know, when you, when you, when you speak with heaven and then you speak with people, you realize that heaven is finding I mean, doing everything to get us to come into a realm, come into an understanding, come into a truth. Because when you come into that truth, you begin to walk by it. And what's that truth? That God loves you so much. You don't understand that love. The angels had to ask, what is man that you are so mindful of? Or the son of man that you visit him. It's amazing how God will sit down. You know, you know, think about it. God woke up one day and said, hey, I'm going down to earth. Where are you going to? I'm going to see Sodom. I've been hearing lots of complaints. So I'm going there for myself to see if those things are so. And he, he, he came on the earth and he was walking down to Sodom. He passed by Abraham's house. Yeah, God passed by Abraham's house and he didn't pass as a spirit being. He, he came on with a human body. Now, when you check the scriptures, you see diverse manifestations like this. And guess what? It didn't end with scripture days. See, that's the problem. We are not too conscious of the supernatural. And until we become conscious of the supernatural in believing, See, not just believe that hmm, God can appear to him. Hmm. You know, you ask people, what if God appears? Hey, I will just faint. Or you know, somebody say, hey, I will just grab him. And you, you see, it's because you are not, you have not tuned your mind yet to the reality of the scriptures that you read. Jesus said something in John chapter 5 and I think verse 39. He says, you search the scriptures because in them, you believe you will have life and the scriptures testify of me but you are not willing to come to me so that you will have life jesus said that what was he saying we all search the scriptures we all have bibles we, we look into the bible and we read all these miraculous things that are written in scriptures and we go wow 
But Jesus now says, you think by reading all those things. And that's the mistake a lot of believers do make. You read it, wow, ah, God, you must do the same miracle for me. You must do the same miracle for me. And they don't understand the operation of it. Jesus said, you don't come to me so that you will have the life. Meaning what? I am the one that gives the life. The scripture doesn't give the life. The scripture only talks about life. If you want to receive life, you've got to come to Jesus. That is how it works. And because you don't understand it, you keep roaming in the dark. Oh, Father, oh, Father, you pray and pray and pray. Nothing happens. God's got a lot of integrity. If you know him, if you understand him, it'll work. Now, uh, let me read something to you in, in Acts chapter 26. Yeah, God, I opened already. Acts chapter 26 and verse 8. Paul speaking here and see what he says. He says, why I love this scripture. Paul was, was talking to Agrippa. And then he says, why should it be thought a thing incredible with you that God should raise the dead? What a question. He said, why should you think it's an incredible thing for God to raise the dead? Why should you think it's, you know, something like, oh, oh, Malagi Bashakataya. You see, I, I brought this scripture to show you something. And Paul, Paul was, imagine Paul asking Agrippa, he says, now God can raise the dead. But, but hey, why do you think it's an incredible thing? You know, incredible, something that is not credible. What kind of information? How can you say somebody that died came back to life? You see, you think it's not a credible thing. Um, story. It's not a credible information. But Paul is asking, why should you think it's an incredible thing? Meaning, you should understand that it's easy for God to raise the dead. And your mind, your mind should align with that truth that God can actually raise the dead. Something I keep saying. It's like Jesus. Jesus was raised from the dead and he is still alive today. You know, people go, Lazarus died, um, was raised from the dead by Jesus, but he still died again, you know. And then they go, um, all the people that died, you know, and, and stuff like that. Hey, there are some people that the scriptures tell us never died. See? Now let's, let's look at Jesus. Jesus died and he was raised from the dead. But you see, God doesn't think like man th thinks you know I, <laughs> I was I was looking at this scripture one time and how God raised Jesus from the dead and not everybody saw Jesus the Bible even said the highest people saw him was about 500 people at once But mostly, Jesus, you know, I was just thinking like, Jesus, if I was the one, I would show up in Pilate's palace first. Pilate, Pilate. Not for any evil. No, I don't think evil. I'm a good person. Praise <laughs> God. So, you know, like, Pilate, Pilate. I'm back. I just wanted to let you know I'm back. And then I'll go to the high priest. He's the one that suggested, hey, chief high priest. I'm back. And then I'll go to those soldiers. You remember those soldiers that dealt with Jesus? <laughs> yeah, I'll just visit them. They are I'll visit them in the night. <laughs> it's got like, knock on their door. Hey, I'm back. Is it that alone will set people on, 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 you know what I'm talking about, praise God. But you see, Jesus didn't do that. Because I was asking the Lord one time, and I said, Lord, how... How come you just chose the people you appeared to? And he said something to me. Listen. It is because it's not everybody that had the capacity to see him after he rose from the dead. 
The only ones who had the capacity to see him are the ones who can hear him. Because now he had gone back to his full glory, which is what? The word of God. The Bible says the word was made flesh. Now he's gone back to his full glory as the word of God. So if you don't hear the word of God, you can't see Jesus. Our time is up for today. Praise God. I, I have a lot in my spirit I want to share with you today. So keep, keep following this broadcast. If you have not subscribed yet to our YouTube channel, please do so. I encourage you to do so and put on put on the notification button it's very important you do that so that the moment the message is sent out you will be the first among the first to receive it praise god listen step out today having this mindset he has gone ahead of you and things will be well today god bless you i'll see you tomorrow bye bye